Okay, so this is pretty scary. Mark Angelucci has just been murdered. Uh, he was the vice president for the National Coalition for Men and uh, one of the most famous MRAs in the world. He did a lot of cases um, involving uh, child custody and male victims of domestic violence, and he has just been shot and killed in his own driveway. Uh, this is the uh, police bulletin on it. Um, you can see he was murdered in front of his own home, um, shot in his own driveway. And in my opinion, uh, this is pretty scary um, because the question in my mind is, was this a targeted killing? The headline reads, men's rights activist attorney shot and killed outside home in San Bernardino County. Detectives are investigating the death of 52-year-old Mark Angelucci as a homicide. County deputies responded to reports of a shooting around 4 p.m. Saturday on Glenwood Drive in Cedar Pines Park, an unincorporated mountain community north of Crestline. They found Angelucci responsive and suffering from apparent gunshot wounds, according to a press release. He died at the scene. Angelucci was the vice president and board member of the National Coalition for Men. He was a longtime president of the group's Los Angeles chapter, which he founded. So he was a prominent MRA. He was probably one of the most famous MRAs in the world and was, in fact, in the Red Pill documentary. The group, which said Angelucci was killed at his home, said he'd recently won an equal protection case against the Selective Service Administration overturning male-only draft registration. If you saw that story in the news, that was him. He previously won a case in California, Woods v. Horton, that held it is unconstitutional to exclude male victims of domestic violence from state funding for victim services. Basically, that you can't discriminate against male victims of domestic violence. Now, if you've seen my recent videos, you know this is something that feminists have been fighting against lately. He attended UCLA, oh sorry, U University of California at Berkeley and went to law school at UCLA School of Law. In his career as an activist, he appeared on television shows like Donahue and Dr. Phil, and he also appeared in The Red Pill, a documentary from 2016 about the men's rights movement. So again, he is a publicly known MRA, and he shot and killed in his own driveway. To me, that is very, very questionable at best and quite scary at worst.